Thank you for coming back, everybody. This is Josh here with Basement Level Magic. We are in the finals of a 4-3-2-2. We have our Red-White Allies deck. Um, this is not quite the starting hand that we have been winning with here, but it's definitely decent. We could look to just go ahead and remove his creatures and then try to go for our ally approach afterwards. Um... Doesn't seem like what I want to be doing though, but yeah, I think we mulligan this. All right, um, I think this is a keep. We just need to, we do have a scry, so we might be able to find a planes, and we've got it. All right, so this will end up being a, a much better, much better start. And we'll be able to have our Smoldering Marsh on turn three. Come in un... unfazed. No point in showing that we have a mountain just yet. Ooh, our opponent is missing land drops. Poor guy. I was going to say, if he misses another one, that's going to be pretty unfortunate for him. That is a sweet draw. Let's get another land out there. Go ahead and attack in. We'll play our drawn as emissary here. Holding up our planes for our Lithomancer's Focus. We are going to start to do some life drain here as well as it's a 2-2 flyer. Unless he kills it. Ah, what the heck? Really? Alright, so he's got a blocker. I mean, he can block, but that's about it. So, life drain... Yeah, we'll go ahead and play our Tunneling Geopede. Play our planes, deal some damage, attack. We could just play our Lithomancer's Focus, just get him down to... I mean, at this point then, if we just hit a land drop next turn, yeah, why not? Yeah, if we hit a land drop or just attack, we're going to win next turn. Because we only need to do one damage because of Drana's Emissary. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do it. All right, so there we go. Won the first first match. Let's go to let's go to the second one. So the thing that we've been doing is changing out this sheer drop, putting an out number. I think that's still the best option for us because we still want to stay very aggressive. Uh, we haven't seen anything to bring in the Felder Cup for. I mean, the only other thing is we could keep out the out number because Sheer Drop is just outright removal. But I feel like the out number has proven itself pretty, pretty uh, main deck worthwhile in this for in this matchup, or in in this format even. It just allows us to stay aggressive, whereas the Sheer Drop makes us take a little time off. Oof, this is. A pretty crummy hand, I think. I don't think we want to keep that. Um, we'll keep that, though. Don't need another planes. Uh, we'll just play out our smaller marsh. We don't have any more of those, so we don't have to worry about it coming in tapped or untapped next turn. 
Um, I think... Let's play our, our higher power creature. Oh, and our opponent once again missing on his land drops. Yeah, that that's probably going to make for a really quick finals here. We are going to have our hasty chasm guide next turn. I don't think we'll use just yet. I mean, we could just to keep the keep the keep the pressure on our opponent. Otherwise, we play Expedition Envoy. Yeah, I you know having the backup one I think makes me want to keep the pressure on. You know, him having mana troubles definitely plays into it as well. Alright, so we'll play another Chasm Guide out. And just attack in again. Got him down to seven. He's got really just a blocker on the board right now. That's going to be difficult, but... Hero of Gomafada, I think, is going to make us feel okay about it. Hasty, indestructible, not much you can do. Gets him down to one. He needs to play two blockers right now. which that is not. Uh, so we can play out our ally, give all of our creatures haste and indestructible again. Our opponent is just talking about how he got um, so far behind just by missing that one drop and not drawing removal, which is completely understandable. And I just said how I'm actually surprised at how fast the format is. Because I the first couple of times I played, uh, it didn't seem like it was this quick. But right there you can see that the, the red-white allies deck can be super, super fast. And we'll just do this just to show off. There we go. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. It was a pretty quick series, but, you know, red-white is pretty powerful and fast. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Trust me, we are putting out lots of content, and you don't want to miss it when we put out some new stuff. So hit subscribe, please. This is Josh with Basement Level Magic. And we just took down the tournament. Later.